Okay, that sounded on sync. Yeah. I think. If anything, I'll just edit it back so it sound if, if balances out eventually. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're, Hello, everybody. Welcome back. to a very special episode of, I mean, very special. I guess it's special. I mean, every episode special. Every episode. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On that. On that thing, because uh, I remember. Um, there's this YouTuber I used to watch, Richie Lee, and he starts like every one of his videos with very special. I'm like, bro, if you say very special at the beginning of every episode, it's not very <laughs> special. And I realized that that's what I've been doing now. It's like that. It's like that. Uh, it's like that saying, if everyone's special, nobody's special. Yeah. So, <laughs> but this episode is actually special because it's, this is actually a full year of us recording. And it's a podcast. Yeah. Not only has it been a fucking year, it's Justin's birthday today, everyone. Woo! Well, I, it's not like, did I plan Woo! this? last year to make it easier on myself to remember all the important dates of all the inv- of all my creative ventures maybe i would definitely not put it past you <laughs> to <do> that <laughs> shit you psychopath <laughs> yeah oh well i try it makes it easier for everyone so yeah justin what, what, oh, dude. what what's different about this episode what, what's so different yeah well like the last episode we are not together mm-hmm. so uh, we are continuing that theme, even though I feel like we're not going to be doing this quarantine as long as we think. Like if we did the quarantine style podcast like now from when we first ended the, the season two, then we would have had so much more content. But now we're kind of at the end, I would say, maybe the beginning of the end of quarantine, arguably, possibly. You think so? I hope so. I, I fucking want summer, man. I want to leave my house. I want a reason to get dressed in the morning. This shit. Yeah, I think I've been wearing the same pants for too long. <laughs> yeah, same. Same, because it's not getting dirty. I'm in my house all the time. Like, it might get smelly, but then I'll change it. But most of the time, it's, like, at <laughs> least, like, four, three days of me just wearing the same pants. Because, like, pants yeah. don't get as dirty as fucking shirts. So. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe I'm, they, maybe they, okay, realistically, heck, um, <laughs> probably, probably bacterially, they definitely do. <laughs> I mean, where the hell are you sitting? What are you doing to him? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you have your pants on when you take a shit. No, is it like I guess. And you're wearing the same pants over and over again. You know, you're gonna keep. Uh, I mean, up I put my pants down. They're around my ankles. They're nowhere near my butthole. Yeah, but you know, there's still splash. You know, the <laughs> back here shoots from the sky and then comes back down. <laughs> What the fuck are you like pooping from like eight meters above your toilet like it's a skydiver no, or some shit? Like bacteria, you know. Wait, okay, hold on. Do you 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 know you okay when you when you well you technically or mm-hmm. not technically when you go to the washroom after if you're gonna do number two you, mm-hmm. you should close the toilet seat flush so that the bacteria just gets oh. trapped under the wall. But if you keep it open then it's and you flush, flush it shoots back it shoots through the open orifice that you it's, have in between your legs just and like then the bacteria tornado. just sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know? So the toilet you see you see the water sprinkling, you, you see the water tornadoing. There's That's a visual fair. Bacteria tornado that you flush, can't see that's flushing, creating a storm. Flushing can be very violent. Like the force of a flush can be pretty strong. So I get like imagine like imagine an ant in a flush. Like he's like getting thrown. Oh, like, like, he's like he's in a like up. he's in a what's that thing called? Like, like a like tsunami. A, no, it's yeah. a tsunami. <laughs> I've you ever I've, I've flushed a few goldfish down the toilet. That shit looks fast as fuck. They they. Are zoom. you serious? You like dead goldfish or like live goldfish? Dead. I'm not a fucking monster. <laughs> I'm just making sure. <laughs> I'm just a bored kid who's flushing live goldfish down his toilet. What the fuck? I don't know. You know, maybe maybe your parents are going to throw them out and you're like, be free. <laughs> Into the, like, finding Nemo. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what happened in the movie, too? They got flushed down the toilet? Yeah, that was their main goal. But realistically, the our oceans, it, even if it does go to the ocean, it's going to take a oh, lot no, of They're going to get like contaminated into like, yeah, they're going to get f- super contaminated before they get to the ocean. And then a fish will probably sure die. <laughs> dude, and they're not even like trained for like salt water. So their salt water would just corrode their skin. The, it seems like we're just making it harder for them to live if we flush them yeah, down the toilet. Wow, this has been a really long opening to say that we're doing a very special version of the podcast because we don't want to start season three on like this note where we're not together. Uh, so we're just going to, but we still want to keep doing the podcast. So we're doing a very special episode of Quarantine. Quarantine. 
Quarantine. Quarantine. Quarantine. Welcome to quarant. Quarantine. Welcome to quarant. Quarant. Welcome to Quran time. Quran. <laughs> Welcome to the Quran time, where me and Justin read a chapter out of the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> Was that offensive enough? <laughs> Probably. Good, good. Call it. Good start. Good start. So, um, you know, we're, we're planning on just dropping little bite-sized pieces of uh, of 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 content. Podcast. You know, so you quarantine. so you guys always have us in your in your minds, and you never and you don't forget us. Literally. Literally. Because sound I'm, waves and visually. Bitch, so I, I guess know, that is. I know. I forgot about us. <laughs> It's been a. Uh, what do you mean? I know. I forgot. How about did you like forget? We it's talk like, every day. Oh, with the podcast. Yeah, the podcast. Yeah, we. Okay, obviously we talk. I don't forget about you, buddy. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 you sounded so sad. What do you mean? We talk every day. <laughs> obviously, I mean, uh, I, I mean, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, Justin, for yeah. the first episode of Quarantine, Time, what uh, how have you been spending your time? What What have you been up to? Well, not as much. Okay. From the last episode, which I just uploaded two months late, <laughs> as usual, I think that's I think that should be our tradition. Like our last episode of the podcast <laughs> two will months come when the when comes when the new season comes back. They're gonna be so like, like a leave a two month cliffhanger. They're gonna but we record the episode at the time, and then that's what happened last year too. Remember, or for first season one? Not. Yeah, I guess that's I guess. a tradition now. We have now started, and we must continue. <laughs> True, true. So every ep- last episode, we're like, "All right, guys, see you next week." Full knowing, well, you're so, talking yeah. for another two months. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Wait, wait, where's next week?" So basically, the episode right before the finale is the finale, and then the finale is the start of the new season, which is the episode, which is the final episode of the last season. Yeah. So realistically, it should be season final episode of season one. And then two months break or whatever time break. And then season three or season yeah. two, for example. Yeah. But for in the Justinian podcast, we do episode nine, we leave you dry for two months. Then we do the episode 10, which we recorded at the time of episode nine. And then we start back up right away. <laughs> it leaves the people wanting more. And then bam, we give them all of it. <laughs> we give them exactly. a lot. And then we come back. We come back full force. Yeah. They, full we, frontal. They think like, oh, so they're going to go on another hiatus. It's like, no, bitch, we're back. <laughs> We yes, are, you thought back. we were we were on a hiatus, but you didn't know when it was ending. But we always knew. We and always now it's knew. it's ending now. Did you answer my question? What have you been doing? What have you oh, been doing? Well, so okay, sorry to tie it back in. I was gonna say from the last episode, which I uploaded today mm-hmm. or yesterday. Right. Uh not much has changed. I am still playing Call of Duty all the time. <laughs> and uh yeah, that's it. Really? really? Nothing. I mean, oh well, I mean last episode I said Rush was shit. The rest is now pretty great. <laughs> I've had a, I've had a, gr- a few great games. I've had, uh-huh. a, I think, some of my highest kill streaks on Rust. Jesus uh, Christ! Right? Yeah, sixteen, seven, like you know those high kill games. You yeah. know nothing. You yeah. know Rust is like high octane, man. It's so close quarters. Of course. Oh yeah, but then, but yo, I don't know if you've been back in COD, but they kind of amped that shit up to next levels, you know? Because right now, at the time of the recording, uh, shipment ten v ten is up. There's a shipment 10 v 10. The only, okay, well, uh, beginning of the week, they did shipment 24 7, and then they transitioned shipment 24 7 into, no, I so, saw, okay, hold on. Let me go back. So last week it was shipment and, sh- no, I lied, even back. So it was shipment, shoot house, uh, rust, task skill, something backlot, and then uh, hideout. Those five maps were in a playlist. And then they, the next week, or the next, yeah, the next week, then they dropped. All the maps except Shoot House and Shipment, and they made Shipment and Shoot House exclusively. Then they dropped Shoot House, and then they made Shipment only for like three or four days. And then now it's Shipment exclusively, but 10v10 instead of 5v5. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Anyone who, isn't, who Literally, doesn't play God is like, what the fuck? You're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> the fuck is this going to be coming? Oh my remember. God, they go on Discord and now they talk about gaming all of a sudden? What the fuck? Speaking of games, uh, yes, I have not been playing Call of Duty because I traded one addiction for another. I'm playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah, so we're on both sides of the gaming quarantine spectrum. You're either playing COD or you're playing Animal Crossing. You're playing something wholesome or you're killing people. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Well, Listen. I mean, I feel like that's what everyone, it's in quarantine, it's either COD or, or it's Animal Crossing. Oh, they're going to say in real life, like in quarantine, it's either you're killing someone or doing a puzzle or something like that. <laughs> if you, you know what? Listen, if you go outside, you have a chance of killing someone. And if you stay inside, you're probably doing a puzzle. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Have you ever done puzzles? Wow. I was never a puzzle I, guy. I used to do puzzles. Well, my grandma used to do puzzles, and I used to watch her do puzzles. And then occasionally I'd be like, oh, look, here's a piece I can put. And then I'd leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I contributed. I, I, got, I contributed. I, I put one name. solid piece. I want my name on this puzzle. <laughs> I want yeah. my piece. Yeah, puzzles was, are fun, though. I was talking to a friend, yeah. and yeah, she was like, oh, yeah, I did, I did like a 500-piece puzzle. Like, I don't have like... Oh, uh, pussy shit. I... <laughs> I don't have the capacity to do puzzles. I don't think I have the patience. I think I'd be too. Uh, but I think you can do puzzles periodically. You know, you know, you do you do five like you wake I guess, up, yeah. you put five, you put five pieces down, do something else, put another five pieces down. I guess that's fair. It's like yeah. you're, it's like you're uh, when you don't know what to do, you just you know. Yeah, I guess like, you have a goal yeah. of setting a puzzle. Yeah, you know, I but just, now, how are you gonna get puzzles? I mean, Amazon's still a thing. Amazon, yeah, I know, like, like I know, like. Like a few people have been doing it, but they're mostly white. I feel like puzzles are a very white thing until I heard, I found out my family friend who's Filipino is doing like a ton of puzzles and she's like taping them together so she can like hang them up or keep them in the scrapbook. No, I knew, I know that's the thing. I, that's what my grandma does, but like we did it as like a mental activity, not yeah. as a, oh, puzzles are a fun thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, puzzles, yeah, it's true. Puzzles, you know, you're getting up there, you should, uh, it's good to keep your mind, uh, active. Sparked. Yeah, a lot of people do Sudoku. I'm shit at Sudoku. I don't get that shit. It's too much. My hard. dad does Sudoku. Huh? You're like, dead. Why? What? Yeah. Why does this number go there? And he's like, because that's the rules. I'm like, but that's that's just a random number. No. He's like, no. There's a there's a whole formula. I'm like, oh, I don't care. Yeah. It's like, oh, you can't have the same number in the same row or in the same column. It's like, who made this? What kind of asshole made this? Who thought this was fun? <laughs> what motherfucker was so poor? He found a. He wanted to. Instead of making a tic-tac-toe thing, he's like, let's do tic-tac-toe, but with numbers and make the rules really complicated. Okay, how do you win? You just, you, uh, you just do it. <laughs> you just fill yeah, you know, you numbers. Gotta, okay. Same thing with crosswords. Like, who was the, who had the idea of like, here, I have a, a word that, <laughs> it's like, here's a dictionary definition, but you have to figure out the word of this dictionary definition. But not only that, you have to figure out the word. You also have like, to arrange like the word. It's definitely a guy a sp- who's dyslexic. He's <laughs> like, all right, this is how I see words. <laughs> try to <laughs> try to figure it out what I'm trying to fucking say to you. <laughs> I feel like there's going to, coming out of quarantine, there's going to be a new kind of puzzle that, that came out that, that's going to be popping. I think people are going to, I think this is the resurgence of puzzles. I'm sure there's like a puzzle company out there that's like, yes, our stock is risen. Really in. You know? Yeah. Thanks, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Okay, yeah. Back to Animal Crossing. I, f- I, have, I honestly did not think I'd love it as much as I do. I saw people playing it and I just didn't get it. I'm like, you're playing, you're doing chores. Like the whole point, like the whole like structure of Animal Crossing is like a fetch them kind of game. It's like, you do this and then you get a reward. It's like a fetch quest, basically. But oh. it's... Bro, I, I have no... Okay, I kind of get it. Like when I play Borderlands and all I'm doing is killing the same guy for an hour, (laughs) just trying to get like this this one gold gun. It's just like, I get it, you know, it's, it's something, but it's also very, I guess it's kind of the thing because everyone's playing it, right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting a call on a duo, but I ignored it. But yeah, it's like, I feel like we should go back to duo because you know, I can actually see your face on duo. No, you know, I. I'm kind of used to this because I I'm on Discord a lot all the time, so I'm kind of used to like reacting and whatever to you know no one. I know, but there's a, I feel like it's such a different kind of vibe, you know. With that, we're like we're so used to the podcast being like right okay, next Justin's to each other. here, Ian's here, and now I'm like, bro, I feel like I'm missing on beats. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think it's good. I think it's going pretty smoothly. I just think you got to get used to it. And you no, know, I feel like we should go back to the. I feel like we should go back to visualizing it. You just. I hate. think we should try one. With, I think we should try next week's episode on duo because you, oh, yeah, you don't understand. Okay. I miss, I miss seeing people. You, okay, you listen, miss listen, seeing listen, people. Listen, why listen, would you? Why listen. would you? We can still use Discord because I truly think Discord is great. But I'll use my laptop so we can we can use the Discord cameras. Or, or yeah, whatever. I just yeah. want to see. I just want to see you, buddy. You know. Okay. I gotta, <laughs> next time, you know what? Next episode, let's 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 for these quarantine episodes, let's just keep matching. So next episode, let's just wear the 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 the, the, the green crew. You know. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> I'm not. It was in the wash. I wore, I put it in the wash. But yeah, yeah next week we'll we'll wear it. It's we got a like, match. <laughs> it's every like, episode uh, we got a match. We got to match every episode. Okay. The, the and then Justin's and then the viewers, <laughs> yeah, can since they might actually have the the thing, they can, uh, they can also match, and then they send us a picture of, of us triple matching, and you know, mm-hmm. content, content. Hey Justin, I have Thank an idea. I, I have an idea that just today. popped into my little noggin just now. What's your little idea? You know, a lot of noggin? people have Discord. You know, 
would would you be open to having a, like a one little friend guest in these quarantine times? Yeah, a little interview. Should we do an interview? Oh, Why not? Well, they ha- okay, but the, but the, they have to have our merch to to <laughs> be in the interview. <laughs> they have to wear televised. They, <laughs> they have to wear televised to get in. You know, it's I, like, down. let's like, do next episode. Not? Let's do with let's do with uh, Hugo next episode. Sure, let's do with he wanted to be on the podcast so bad. Yeah, let's yeah, give it to him. We can uh, we can. You know what? This is okay. Here, this was the first episode. Is we're gonna figure out what this little this little thing is. We can ask. We can explore the concepts of how are you dealing with quarantine? What are things you're keeping yourself busy? And what do you miss? Like you know, a little a little quick little. I think this is good. I think yeah. I think this is a good idea that I had. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's a good idea to end the, this first episode of Quarantine with Justin. Oh, a little Andy. tease, a little tease of what's a to come. A little tease of what's to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, so you know, I hope you enjoyed this very rambly first episode. We promise, as always, that the next episode will be less rambly and it's not. Just like, we try. Just like sex. We get better with every round. <laughs> well, that's not always the case, but no, you know no, what? No. <laughs> I like to imagine it is. You know, it's funny too. Every time I, cause I'm watching myself and I, every yeah. time I realize, like I have an Oreo on my hand right now. Yeah. What is that? Is that a marker? Did you mark no, it? It's a, I, I shout out Inkbox. It's a, it's a more, per, more, it's a less temporary tattoo. Yeah. I know what Inkbox last, is. So they got, yeah. You ordered it from Inkbox? No, no you- Charmaine, my cousin had a freehand ink set and she just like oh. did it on my ink hand, you know? So I have a tattoo ink. I have a Oreo on my hand. So that, like, let's see. So that's a freehand. Like she freehanded that. So I think Joven traced it on wax paper and then he put it over. Oh, okay. Uh, he traced it on wax paper and then I guess if you wet wax paper on your hand, then the, the it transfers. The, it transfers and then oh. she just drew over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so that's fun. Yeah, because I was wondering. I'm like, did you just color it in Oreo and stamp yourself? Because that's pretty good. <laughs> I was like, wow. Mm, no, it was definitely not. But I mean. Now that I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I kind of like having, it looks weird though. Cause it looks like I'm branded. <laughs> <laughs> you got branded by Mr. Oreo himself. I got branded by my, my, myself. You know, I think, but yeah. I think that tattoo would be pretty, if that was a real tattoo, I think it'd be sick, but we're somewhere else. Like not on your hand. Like if it were somewhere like on your calf or some shit, I think that'd be pretty tough. No, I think I like, I can't, I might keep it on my hand. You, know? you should put it on the palm of your hand. It look like. Iron Man, like <laughs> pew pew. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah, I was I was thinking of as a joke, like having a full sleeve of ke- of cookies. <laughs> got the Oreo, got some peak freeze, got some, got some animal Ahoy. crackers, got some chips Ahoy. sandies. But but like I have to make it double sided, right? So like on one, so like you know your forearm has two sides, like the yeah. top part and the bottom part. Yeah. So like on the top part, obviously it'd be nice because you see all the all the nice versions <laughs> of the thing. And on the so bottom. It's like just like the so you have the faces like if it's animal crackers you have the little yeah. faces and shit on the back it's just a bunch of texture and then like if it's a peak green you know how the top of the peak green has the the red jello yeah, yeah. in it yeah yeah and then yeah, the yeah. bottom is just a plain thing you know it's like a dual double sided tattoo <laughs> that'd be so shit it's just like it's just like you get a chips ahoy cookie or like a homemade cookie and then it's the just bottom a shit, is so it's just a and then the bottom is so ugly just a shitty fucking burnt. End on your arms, like, like yeah. No, well, one side looks nice, and then the other side is ugly. It's a duality. It reminds like, life oh. of how just because on the top things might be nice, on the ugly, on the bottom, don't forget they're fucking wow. ugly. Wow, dude. Let's end it you on know, that. Me. Let's end it on that. All right, note. guys. So please send me some cookies. I'd love. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> All uh, right. And yeah, right. We'll, we'll work on bringing Welcome. people on here for a little interview and see what works. Yeah. For them. All right. Fifteen to twenty minute episodes. Maybe people will listen this time. All right, guys. All right. See you next week. Deuces, everybody. Bye-bye.